What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning into my channel, Jace's Own World. I really appreciate it every single time you tune into it. If you're new here, thanks for coming in and I enjoy making these videos for you. Let's get right to this video and keep it short. I'm going to be using my software, which is Eurodyne, and then the Maestro program that uses the Eurodyne software so that I can be custom tuned. So I'm going to show you how to download a tune that your custom tuner sends to you so that you can start logging and doing all that stuff. And then I'm gonna show you how to log the information to send to your tuner with all the parameters needed that your tuner needs to give you the best, most efficient, most reliable, and then the most powerful tune that you desire out of the turbo and the setup that you have. So here I am in sunny Arizona. It's a beautiful day. Right now it is 85 degrees outside, so not too bad. Nice and sunny, perfect weather for doing this tune. It could be a little cooler, but um, in general, having cooler temperatures outside is the best for a turbo car. But regardless, you can do these tunes in the summertime in, in 100 plus degree weather or in the wintertime with below freezing weather. So. Let's get right into the tuning procedure and we'll start out with your tuner sending you a tune and how you are going to program it using the Eurodyne Maestro software into your vehicle. So let's do this. All right, so some background before we get into the how-to part of this video. I've been custom tuned through a man named Frank Mabo through the Maestro program that utilizes Eurodyne software. And I've been custom tuned through him for a little over two years now been running a 91 octane tune and the reason why I'm doing this new tune is because he's come up with a new software update for the Eurodyne software itself but I've also asked him if I could do an 87 octane tune for my car because I use my car a lot for work and because of the recent gas price increases in the economy right now 91 octane is just getting way too expensive for my job so I want to go with 87 octane and so I got a hold of him and he said, yeah, let's do the tune. And so we're, we, we are now doing the tune. So he sent me a tune recently and I'm going to show you how to install this tune with the Eurodyne Maestro software into your car. So let's get right into that. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need the Eurodyne software tool, uh, which plugs into your OBD2 port with this end. And then this end is a USB that plugs into your computer. Then you're also going to need a laptop and obviously a tuner and then you're going to need your keys for this and a little bit of time. You're also going to want to keep your laptop charged so that it does not run out of battery when you're doing this tune because sometimes if you're especially doing this tune for the first time it can take up to like 45 minutes to an hour depending on the tune even on the off the shelf tunes or OTS tunes they call it it can take that long for the first time. So if you have a laptop that's old, that doesn't have a lot of battery power, or I just recommend plugging it in so it does not get low on battery when you're downloading the tune. Also, if you want to plug your battery in your car in so that it does not fail as well, you can do that. Mine's pretty good, so I'm not gonna do that. But let's get right into the install of this tune, all right? Okay, so you're going to take your OBD2 ports here, open your car, make sure your car is off, completely off. So you're going to plug that into your OBD2 port, and then you're going to route this wire right here. I kind of do it through my window, and then I close my door and I keep my laptop on top of my car hood. And then we're going to plug this into the USB here, okay? Boom. All right. Okay, and so you're gonna make sure your laptop is on and that you currently have the Eurodyne uh, app right here that you need to download on your computer. It looks like this, okay? This is the Eurodyne. Double click on that, all right? And then this screen is gonna pop up. This one pops up on my computer. I don't know if it's gonna be your computer, but I click yes on this, all right? If you click no, then the, the program will not open. And so here's Eurodyne program. Uh, make sure you have the latest 
version downloaded or it will not pop up and it, it, it literally takes a minute or two to download the, the latest version. From here, you're going to go into your key and turn it to position two on. And what I like to do is I like to disconnect all my stuff on my battery so nothing is running so my battery does not drain. So from there, you're gonna have position two on your key and you're gonna go to right here, click to start. Okay, and then it's gonna say, make sure your laptop is plugged in and that you have all the updates. I've done all that, so you click yes on that once you've done that. Okay, and then you have all these programs that pop up. You can flash your DSG with software, you can flash your ECU software with the Eurodyne server, that's the OTS tunes right there, that's what you're gonna use. But because I am custom tuned, I'm going to come down here and use this one right here flash my ECU with a Maestro file. So I'm gonna click that. I have a touchscreen computer, it's pretty cool. So once that's going, once you click that, everything goes on your car. You might hear some weird noises with your car and stuff. Okay, and so once that um, is clicked and loaded, here are all my files that Frank Mabo has sent me. And the latest revision is the 87 AK, AKI base two. That's the latest one he's done with me. So I click on that and I come here and I click open. Okay, I'm just gonna click out of this. That's annoying. Make sure ignition is on. That's gonna pop up and engine is off. All right, click okay. Oh gosh, get out of here. Okay, and so now it's gonna download the software and right now you might be able to hear some noises you might be able to hear it in here see some stuff going on see that anyways you'll hear some noises with your car that's completely normal so don't freak out about that then all this stuff is going to, you know, it gives, it gives you a little uh, little timer here knowing how long it's going to take. This should literally take me a couple minutes. So I'm going to pause it here and come back when this is almost done. Okay, so this is almost done here. So we'll finish for this right here. And then it will probably go on to another screen doing other stuff. I don't know what it does, but other downloading stuff. Oh, there goes my car again, making noises. Still making noises. It's probably been about a minute, and there we go. Okay, so we come to this point. Even when you're doing OTS tunes with this, it will always come to this point, all right? And so what does it say? Please turn off ignition. And so what you do is you come over here, turn off the ignition, do not take the key out. I repeat, do not take the key out if you have a key. <laughs> Some of you might have the start stop button. So the ignition is off. So I confirmed that with the ignition is off. All right. Now it's going to be like bling. And then it's going to come up to here. Please turn ignition on. Okay. So we'll go back over to the key. Turn the ignition on to position two. Do not start the car. Do not start the car. Okay. Okay. Please turn ignition on. Confirm that ignition is on. Boom. And there we go. The tune is installed. And it's as simple as that. It is literally as simple as that, guys. As simple as plugging in your OBD2 port with the cable, plugging that into your computer, making sure your computer is on and then opening up the program, the Eurodyne program, and literally just following the instructions of whatever you're wanting to do with the program. If you need to do the OETS tune, it's gonna be very simple and very similar to this process. The only difference is it's not gonna be in a file like my tune was in my computer because that file was sent to me 
from Frank Mabu himself. If you're doing an off the shelf tune, all the files are just going to pop up on the Eurodyne software. So it's as simple as that and then following instructions and waiting for the program to download into your car. So now that we have the tune installed in our car, I'm going to show you how to actually log information if you're actually doing a custom tune and then sending it to your tuner. So let's get right to that point of the video. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to actually log using the Eurodyne software so that you can send it to your custom tuner. Here I am, it's hot today. So what you want to do is with the ignition off, okay, pull it out, and then you have your Eurodyne cable connected to the USB port of your laptop and running up into your OBD2 port right over here. So connect that on, all right? So now what you're going to do is you're going to start your car, put it in neutral, all right, neutral, okay, turn this off, turn this off, all right, so now you're going to go to Eurodyne software, and while the car is running, you're going to open up the Eurodyne software, double click, this pops up, click yes, all right. Then you're gonna come over here and press click to start. So click that. And then it says basically the same thing. Make sure your laptop is charged, blah, 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 that your car is charged. Click yes. Now you have all these options. What you're going to do is go to diagnostics and data logging, click that. And then all of this is gonna pop up, all right? So you're going to click get controller info. Everything's popping up right now all this stuff all right and underneath controller info is are all these options measuring blocks read fault codes yada yada for this particular one we're going to go to measuring blocks click on that and then we're going to click on select all at the top here boom so all the parameters come up then at the bottom here, as you can see here, the bottom down here, says the log selected values. You're gonna click on that. Boom. And then everything pops up, everything, so that your tuner, who's custom tuning your vehicle, can look at all these parameters when you're logging. Now all you gotta do is Go for a drive, make sure there it's a place where there's no cops, there, there's not very much traffic, it's a safe spot. Basically, so it's a safe spot and you're gonna basically do like a second gear pull, third gear pull, fourth gear pull, whatever your tuner, whatever your tuner is asking you to do. But before you start that pull, you're just going to click on this, start logging to file and then you do the pull third fourth gear second gear whatever and then when you're done with the pull you click on stop logging the file and then that will automatically save the log into your computer make sure you have it set up in a correct folder whichever way you want and then that way you can send that log and that file to your tuner and then your tuner is going to look at that file and if he and if he or she needs to adjust it then they are going to do that and then send you a new file to upload and then you're just going to go through this whole process again to to log until everything basically meets your criteria and the tuner's criteria so that's how you use the maestro program and the eurodyne software to send logs to your tuner so that you can get a custom tune. I really hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.